What's going on, guys? Uh, we are back for another video. I say we because it's been a minute since Mercedes has made an appearance on the channel. I would say it's been too long, probably. It's been far too long, and I'm excited to be here. Yes, excited to have you. And today we are going to be talking about Mercedes top five fragrances to smell on me at the moment. I think these kind of change, right? Depending. They're very, it depends on my mood. It depends on like just me catching whiffs off of you. Like yeah. it's just, it changes, I feel very, very frequently. Very frequently, but these are her five favorites as of right now. It's very hot outside in Nashville. So I've been wearing a lot of uh, fresher, citrus forward, musky kind of fragrances. Um, so we're going to let you guys know what Mercedes is loving on me. Let's get into it. Okay, at the number five spot, uh, we're gonna talk about a fragrance that if you've been following this channel or following us on Instagram or TikTok, you probably have heard us talk about this fragrance before. Uh, I'm talking about Molecule O2 by Eccentric Molecules. Uh, this fragrance is literally just perfumer's alcohol and ambroxan, which is a synthetic form of ambergris. Ambergris is very, very expensive. Um, and this fragrance is not very, very expensive. It's about $150 for a 100 ml bottle. Um, and it just seems like out of my entire collection, out of what we have in our store, this is one of my most complimented fragrances, so I can see why you appreciate it. It is just so beautiful. I, I wear it for myself a lot as well, um, but this is one, I call this the ghost fragrance because you're gonna lose it throughout the day. Uh, it comes and goes, and you actually go nose blind to it completely. completely. I can't it's smell it. So funny. Um, but for me, I he'll just walk by me, and it just comes off of him, and I'm like, what is that? Yeah. But now I know what it is. Yeah. Every time you you wear it, I just know. It has a, a signature to it. Yeah, just uh, to warn you guys, I cannot smell this fragrance at all when I wear it, but it seems like without fail. Every time I wear this fragrance just by itself, I get a compliment. Um, I also use this to layer. I know you have used it in the past, or at least you've used O1 to layer. Yep. Um, this is a great layering fragrance, but it can be worn by itself. If you're somebody that cares about compliments, try Molecule 2 because it is pretty amazing when it comes to the compliment factor. You agree, and yeah. it your eyes roll into the back yes. of your head every time you smell this <laughs> fragrance. It's, so. it's very simplistic, you know? It's just, it's a, it's a salty, sexy, woody smell, and yep. I've always been a fan of ambergris in, in general, um, so this is no different for me. Yep, there it is at number five, Molecule O2 by Eccentric Molecules. Moving right along to the number four spot, we have a fragrance by Inicio Parfums Privé, right there. Mercedes Choice is Rehab. Uh, now, a lot of you may know what Rehab is, and you may have smelled it, you may have tried it. For those that do not know, this fragrance is a very uh, fresh, woody, musky, spicy kind of a scent. Um, there's things like bergamot and lavender in here, so it's very uh, uplifting. Um, but then you also have like cedar wood, and you have actually hedione in the base. Uh, hedione is a molecule that has been studied uh, quite a bit, and when people smell hedione, it is uh, triggering the pleasure centers of their brain, which is pretty nuts, and it seems like that happens when you smell it, yes. too. I really love, I think Anisio in, in general is one of my favorite houses for sure. Rehab and a couple of the other ones like Musk Therapy are some of my favorites because they're perfectly unisex and yep. they're very, very balanced. And so, you know, you have the freshness in this, you have the woodiness, um, but it's just, I don't know, it, it really does, you know, when I wear it for myself, I love it, but then I also just really love, and it, you know, when it comes off of you, it's just very sexy. Yes, and it does kind of have a, I would say out of the white bottles back there, does have a little bit more of a masculine edge than sure. some of the other ones. It's a little bit spicier. And although there's no tobacco note listed in this, I definitely pick up on some kind of like a fresh tobacco kind of a vibe. Um, but this is amazing. Um, there's sandalwood in the base as well, which uh, I love sandalwood. I love when it's used naturally, which is normally in really expensive fragrances, or even when it's javanol. Um, 
it's just a gorgeous, smooth, fresh, slightly sweet, slightly creamy uh, note that I think really sets this fragrance uh, apart. It's a big compliment getter. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments when I wear it. I think you'll find that a lot of the fragrances in this list are highly complimented and you really pick up on them uh, when I wear them. So if you have not checked out uh, Rehab by Inicio Parfums Privé, I highly recommend that you at least sample it. It is a great fragrance. Uh, you can be worn now like in the high heat or it can absolutely be worn all year round. There's enough depth and weight to it that in the fall and winter this will work perfectly. You love it on me. Absolutely. I love wearing it. Uh, Rehab by Inicio Parfums Privé at the number four spot. Alrighty, so moving into the number three spot. Um, this was kind of a hard list to narrow down, but I feel like we, we did a good job. We went off of your preferences um, and you've really been enjoying this recently. I've worn it probably three or four times in the last month. I'm talking about Wet Stone by Amr Oud. I first heard about this fragrance from Mr. Max Forti. Um, he was talking very highly of this fragrance. Um, and then once we brought Amr Oud into our store in Nashville, um, this is one of the ones I've been wearing a ton and you are loving it when I wear it. Um, there is things like, uh, there's a lot of citruses. So you get, uh, I believe there's a mandarin at the top of this. There's lemon, there's a sea salt accord. There is this mineral quality. There's a wet stone accord in here. Um, there is oud in the base, um, but it is not an oud fragrance by any stretch. It's very fresh uplifting, a little bit salty, a little bit mineralic. Mm -hmm. um, and then the oud is in the base of this fragrance just to bolster the longevity. And I think it kind of adds along with the vetiver that's in here, along with the, uh, adds some of the smokiness that is here. So you get a very bright, citrusy, fresh fragrance with some smokiness. You already love yeah, ambergris. I was gonna say, so. this is a little predictable for me because it does have ambergris in it. <laughs> I swear I have other things that I really yeah. enjoy that do not have ambergris in them. But wait till, wait till our fall video fall, comes out. When the out. fall yeah. list comes out, you guys are gonna be shocked. Blown yeah. away even. Yeah. But um, I just love a good fresh, salty, um, just again, that like um, mineral. Yeah, the mineralic kind of, kind of feel to it. Yes, I do really enjoy that. Yeah, it, it smells like stone in the best way possible. Um, that's even hard to like wrap your mind around, but I think along with the name of the fragrance and then the notes that are in here, it just puts you in that mindset, the just really great smooth mineral quality. The ambergris I think adds to that. The vetiver in here is like a little bit smoky. Um, I love the contrast between things that are fresh and vibrant just mixed in with kind of like a smoky. Yes, uh, for sure. Like that contrast of the fresh and also the smoky. Yep. I think it I just agree. tends to grab your Definitely. attention because it's very decidedly masculine. Although yeah. Amr Oud's fragrances are unisex, this one just to me feels masculine, very professional, well yeah. put together. And, you know, I, I tell everybody that like, I think gender gendered fragrances are really up to you. Like, you know, anyone can smell any fragrance and be like, no, this is, yeah. I, I would wear this and I'm female or whatever. I think it really doesn't matter. It's very, very preferential at that point. I agree. We have a lot of women that come into our store and they like, I, I find myself surprised at what they're gravitating towards, which is just not always the typical feminine or fruity floral. There's a lot of women that come in, they want, Ouds. They want tobacco fragrances. They want vetiver fragrances. Um, so whether you're a man or a woman, Whetstone is definitely one to check out. It is a great, great fragrance, especially for summer. Uh, it would work all year round for sure because of its potency and the scent profile. Um, but just with a collection like we have, I, I tend to wear this in the warmer weather. Mercedes is loving it on me and I am enjoying wearing it. That is Wet Stone by Amr Oud. Okay, so the number two spot, here we go. Um, this is a fragrance that is one of the best sellers in our store, and I think it is for a good reason. It's insanely long lasting. It is an incredibly approachable scent profile, but without forsaking uniqueness, uh, which I am just a, a massive fan of. This is 
Cheeky Smile by Juicebox. Look at the dent in that bottle. It's just, people are running through this. Full transparency here, okay? So before we started recording this clip specifically, Mercedes was nervous that she was gonna come across as basic because she likes fragrances in this vein. And I need you guys to let her know down in the comments that you gotta like what you like. But this is another Ambroxan bomb. It's an Ambroxan bomb. You got uh, Ambroxan, Isoe Super, Ambercore, Ambrofix. It's a lot of those like molecular uh, aroma chemicals, but it is, it's like molecule one and two turned up to 11. It is so yes. potent, I can smell it all day long, and it is a compliment puller. It's Probably like the biggest a, on this list. A salty, yep. slightly spicy, and it's just really sexy. And again, it's predictable, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that it's predictable. No, this is, we're in is, summertime. That is one of my favorites for, for you during the summertime. Also, the bottle is glow in the dark. Yeah, the I bottle is glow in the dark. Really cool. You can't see it right now, but this glows in the dark. This cheeky smile label here glows in the dark, and then the frosted glass on the sides and on the bottom glows in the dark. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool, it's a fun vibe. Every juice box fragrance is based off of either a musician or a genre of music. This is based off of the genre Acid House, and it very much just has that fun, mm -hmm. energizing, yeah, uplifting quality. It is an insane attention grabber. I know, like, I don't blame you for loving this. It's just so lovable and approachable and fun and definitely has like a sexy edge to it. And let me just tell you, 12 plus hours longevity. This is no joke. It is super, super potent. Crazy longevity, crazy projection. Um, I love wearing it and uh, I always get a compliment from you when mm -hmm. I wear it. For sure. When I wear it and yeah, from, from others. So there it is at the number two spot, Cheeky Smile by Juicebox. All right, and at the number one spot, drum roll. Um, this kind of caught me out of left field a little bit, but also I, I get it. I think it's just a very unique fragrance, um, especially one to wear in the summertime. It's very unique for summertime because it's a leather fragrance technically. But at the number one spot, we have Milano by Fragrance Dubois. This is saffron, this is orange, there's bergamot, there's a like bouquet of fruity notes in here. That's actually one of the things listed is fruity notes. So I pick up on things like, a, there's almost like a slight mango, maybe like a passion fruit kind of a feel to it, but very fruity at the top. Not like Herba Pura fruity, like Herba Pura is very screechy. I love Herba Pura, don't get me wrong, but it's very sharp, a little screechy at the top. This kind of has a similar fruity opening, um, but the fruits smell very natural in yeah. this. They're yeah. very smoothed out, um, very natural smelling, um, but it is a beast. It's and it, it's got leather in the base too, which I think is, I think that's why I like crave it almost. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I'll smell it frequently because I'll just kind of pass it and smell it. I've been wearing this a lot. It's just, I think the combination, I think it's done really well. It has a musky element to it. It has some, like a little bit of vanilla, I believe. And I think it's just, they're all kind of blended in such a beautiful way that uh, it just, it, it gets me every time. Yes. I don't know. It just, it, it kind of comes back to that contrast thing that we were talking about earlier where you have the really bright effervescent, um, like it, oh, it's very happy, uh, this fragrance, very jovial, but then you have like the leather coming through and this leather is smoky, mm -hmm. very smoky. Like if you're familiar with something like Coyum by Ordo Parisi or maybe something less niche like, uh, Ombre Leather by Tom Ford, you kind of get that similar vibe, although this leather is much preferred, in my opinion, to something like Ombre Leather. It is that balance of the fruity, smooth, juicy, mouth-watering citruses with the dry, almost serious, professional leather feel. Uh, this fragrance is a rock star. It is an absolute rock star. I've been wearing it a ton 
a ton this summer. Um, it, yeah. it has become one of my favorites uh, from Fragrance Dubois to wear right now. The leatheriness mixed with the fruitiness, I just think this makes an amazing summer fragrance, especially summer nights when you want something that's fresh plus. Yeah. Like it's fresh with a little bit of that nighttime sensuality um, and mystique. If you want some mystique, this is one to check out. Yes, it's definitely just a beautiful, sexy fragrance, but it also just kind of comes across very like classy and like high end. Yeah. Like it just kind of like has this elegance to it that kind of attracts you in and makes you think like, oh my gosh, what is that? Yeah, it smells like you're whipping up in the Bugatti, all right? <laughs> and then you step out the Bugatti and you get onto your yacht and then you get onto your helicopter that's parked on the yacht and you fly to your own island. That's Milano. Yeah. End of story. Milano at the number one spot. Fragrance Dubois, Milano. Amazing, amazing fragrance. And that's it. There you have it. That is Mercedes' top five fragrances to smell on me currently. We will continue to do these videos because I know as the seasons change and I start wearing some different fragrances, I think you're going to have more that are kind of nearing your top spots, but those are your favorites as it stands right now. Yes, we will definitely be making more of these videos. I really enjoy talking through some of my favorites, but also I do want to get into talking about more of the things that I enjoy or, you know, for myself, different brands. Like I'd love to get into that. So yeah. let us know in the comments below what you want us to, to review each week. Or, Absolutely. You know, yes. We're happy to Give us some recommendations. Yes. Whatever Please you guys want to see, let us know. Um, obviously, I like making these videos because it gives us a chance to go through our collection and kind of see, like I can really define what you like to smell on me. So, mm -hmm. and I want to smell good to her, obviously. Mm -hmm. Obviously. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's all guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching the video. Uh, we will be back shortly with another. Peace.